In this training session, we're going to talk about how to change the settings of your back office and the things that you can do to make it easier for you. So by simply logging into your back office, which we've done here, this is what your dashboard looks like. I've logged into my test account. You're simply going to go up here to my account and you're going to click on settings right here. Um, this is pretty much everything to do with your shipping, your address, your credit card information. So pretty straightforward shipping. There's a little icon here that allows you to go ahead and make those changes and save it. Your billing information, you can click here and that will change your billing information. Now it's important when you're making sure that that billing information matches the credit card on file because it will look for that. Um, this is You click this button here and you change the credit card number here. And you, if you can notice that um, the credit card number is blank, it will actually replace the card that you put on last and keep it there until you put on something else. So make sure if you're placing an order for a customer or something that you're not leaving your credit card behind on someone else's account, cl simply click and save the credit card information here. Again, remember that the billing address must match the credit card information so you don't run into any troubles when trying to process. This is also a really good thing here. It tells you how much money you have in your credit wallet and your product credits and your sample credits, which we've discussed in other training videos at this point. And there's a hyperlink to it right there. So I don't know if you noticed that when you click on these little icons out there, it actually shoots you right over to that particular page. Um, you can show your contact information uh, on your website. You can make it inactive or active. This information up here, this little icon actually allows you to uh, change the information. This is also where you want to change your username. Maybe you're rethinking it after you enrolled, but so you want to change your username. Keep in mind any new username you do decide to use, it is always all lowercase and no spaces. Um, you can also come in here and change your password at any time you have full control. And you can also add a photo for your profile that will show up. So that is a really quick overview and it shows some basic information about you as well of your settings page. So that should help you. And you can always reach out by clicking this button to customer support seven to seven, seven days a week. So you're all set. Thanks.